Professor Black Ops, you see it. Let's get it. Last pass internal hack. They just came out in the article and finally admitted that they were hacked. They were kind of dancing around the edges. So once again, let's <laughs> let's read the article super quick. Let's see, I'm over here struggle screaming with this new setup. <laughs> um, make sure that's coming up. You see it. Last pass finally admits. <coughs> Those crooks who got in, they did steal your password vaults. At first, they said they didn't steal your password vaults, but and obviously they did. So let's get at it. <clears throat> Last pass finally admit those crooks who got in, they did steal your password vaults. After all, not a huge Last Pass fan. The popular password management company Last Pass has been under the pump this year, following network intrusions back in August 2022. <clears throat> Details of how the attacker got in are still scarce. LastPass first <coughs> official uh, cautionly state that an, honor, an unauthorized party gained access to a portion of the LastPass development environment through a single compromised development account. It followed up with a month later with a similar inconclusive. <coughs> the threat actor gained access to the development environment <coughs> using a development compromise endpoint. While the method used to for the initial endpoint compromise is inconclusive, the third actor utilized their persistent access to impersonate the developer once the developer had successfully authenticated using multi-factor authentication. <clears throat> this is not an awful lot left in this paragraph if you drain out the journey, but the key phrase seemed to be compromise endpoints. In plain English, this means a malware infected computer and persistent access, meaning Chris could get back in later at their own leisure. <clears throat> Two, a uh, factor doesn't always help to a to FA. Unfortunately, you can read above the two-factor authentication didn't help in this particular attack. We're guessing last uh, pass in common with most companies and online services doesn't literally uh, require 2FA for connection where authentication is needed but only for what might call a primary authentication. To be fair, most or many of the services you use, particularly your own computer, generally do something similar. Typically, two-factor authentication exemption aimed at reaping most of its benefit without paying too high a price for the inconvenience include doing full, doing full two-factor authentication only occasionally such as requesting new one-time clothes only every few days, <clears throat> or some 2FA system may offer you a, a remember me for X days option, for example. Only require two-factor uh, authentication for the initial login, then allowing some sort of single sign-on system to authenticate you automatically for a wide, wide range of internal services. In many companies, for instance, logging onto the email also gives you access to other systems such as Zoom, GitHub or other systems you use a lot, issuing a bare access token for automated software tools based on occasional 2FA authentication by developers, testers, and engineering staff. If you have an automated build and test script that needs access to various servers and databases at various points in the process, you don't want the script to continually interrupt to wait for you to type in yet another uh, two-factor authentication code. We current 2FA only for the first login from a new device, such as a mobile phone. This minimizes the number of times you need to go through the 2FA process yourself, while nevertheless preventing crooks from simply trying out your password in their own device. We have seen no evidence in a fit of confidence that we suspect LastPass now regrets. The company initially said in August 2022, we have seen no evidence that Incident involves any access to customer data or encrypted password vaults. Of course, we have seen no evidence is a very strong statement, not least from uh, a stringent company can make it come true by deliberately failing to look for evidence in the first place or by letting someone else collect the evidence and then purposely refusing to look at it, even though it's often that any company can truthfully say the <laughs> immediate aftermath of a breach. LastPass did investigate, however, felt able to make a definitive claim in September 2022 
Although the threat actors was able to access the development environment, our system design and control prevented the threat actors from accessing any customer data or encrypted password vaults. Sadly, they claim turned out to be a little too bold right now. So now they look like they got egg on their face. <clears throat> the attack led to an attack. Last pass did admit early that crooks took portions of the source code and some proprietary last pass technical information. It now seems that some of that stolen technical information was enough to facilitate a follow on attack that was disclosed November 2022. We determined that an unauthorized party user information obtained in the August 2020 incident was able to gain access to certain elements of our customer information. To be fair, LastPass, the company, didn't repeat its original claim that no password box has been stolen, referring mainly to a customer's information being pilfered. But in its previous breach notification, the company has taken spokesman, spoken about customer data, which makes most of us think the information such as address, phone number, payment card details, and so on, and encrypted password vaults are two distinct categories. This time, however, customer information has turned out to be included customer data in the sense of an above and password database. Not literally on the night before Christmas, <laughs> but presently close to it, LastPass submitted that the actor, the third actor, copied information from the backup that contained base customer's account information and related metadata, including customer name, end user names, billing address, email address, telephone numbers, and IP addresses from which the customers access the LastPass service. So it sounds like the threat actors got everything right. We went from barely anything taken to a lot of stuff taken. Loosely speaking, crooks now know who, who you are, where you live, and the computer and internet <laughs> are yours, and how to contact you electronically. This submission co continues. The threat actors was able to copy a backup of the customer's vault data so the crooks did steal the password vaults after all. <laughs> so that's crazy. So let's see what the end is. There's some good news. The good news is LastPass continues to assist that it's the security of the backend passwords in your vault file should not be no different from the security of any other cloud backup that you encrypted your own computer before you upload it. According to LastPass, the password data is backed up. For you never exist in an unencrypted form, LastPass on servers and LastPass never stores or sees your master password. Let's see. What to do? Back in August 2022, <laughs> LastPass said, if you want to change some of all your password, we're not going to talk you out of it. But we don't think you need to change your password if it's worth. Neither does LastPass. This was based on LastPass assertion, not only that the backup password boss were encrypted with the password, not only to you, but also those password boss were, weren't accessed in any way. <laughs> Given the change in LastPass story on what it has discovered, then we should now should suggest that change your password. Is, if you reasonably can, you gotta change your password. One more thing. Oh, one more thing, an appeal to XOPS team, IT staff, system admin, and technical writer everywhere. When you want to say your change your password or recommend others to change theirs, can you stop using misleading word rotate and simply use a much clearer word change instead of rotate? Yes, yeah, so I think a lot of people get confused with, with that nomenclature. So. So that's pretty much it. Once again, last pass, <laughs> they had, the crooks actually got in and stole their data. <laughs> we need you to change your password, not rotate. We need you to physically go and change your password. Now I'm not a, a huge last pass fan. I hate when people kind of dance around the words with lawyers. So I will never use last pass, <laughs> Professor Black Ops. Please subscribe. Have a happy holiday.